Numerous scientific studies have supported my research group's original published discovery in 2010 that aptitude for different race distances is largely influenced by variation in the myostatin gene, the gene that is now referred to as the speed gene. The causative mutation is also now known. In this latest study, we hypothesize that in addition to myostatin, there may be other genes that modify a horse's optimum race distance. We also investigated whether the distances suited to each speed gene type may vary across geographic regions due to differences in the race pattern. For instance, in some regions there is a premium for horses suited to shorter distance races since the value of the races tend to be higher. Here we've increased the sample size to over 3,000 horses that included more than 800 elite group race performing horses that had raced in all the major race regions of the world. We found heritability estimates to be extremely high and have shown that differences in the myostatin gene are responsible for the greatest proportion of the variation in genetic potential for distance. In genome-wide association tests using over 70,000 genetic markers representing the entire genome, we once again observed that the top markers were on chromosome 18, located in and surrounding the myostatin gene. The statistical significance values that we observed were equivalent to those reported for the strongest genetic associations in humans, such as eye colour traits and male pattern baldness, traits that are well established to have singular major gene effects. This result lends unequivocal support to the previously unexpected notion of a single gene having a major influence on a performance-related trait in thoroughbreds. Our study did, however, identify additional genes that together have a modifying effect on distance, defined by the speed gene. These genes are known to function in the modulation of substrate availability, which from a physiological perspective would influence a preference for sprint or endurance type exercise. Considering these new results, we now have also described the development of a highly accurate prediction model for distance that incorporates these additional markers. The model can be used in conjunction with traditional evaluation strategies to optimise the training and racing environment for an individual horse. As well as the economic benefit to owners, this is likely to have a positive impact on horse welfare. In conclusion, we present here substantial and conclusive evidence for the singular influence of the speed gene on race distance, which has major implications in practice. Considering the emphasis on speed and precocity in some sectors of the industry and in certain geographic regions, these results indicate that it would be prudent to monitor the speed gene in the global population and refine practice, including the race pattern, to ensure the future sustainability of the thoroughbred.